Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Hive Swap. I'm your host, Duhad. Joining me, as always, are Belial and Bean. Hi. Hello. And uh, after a lot of technical issues and me getting very upset by them, and still being very upset by them, we're going to try and fish Hive Swap. Uh, so, uh, here we go. Yay! <laughs> well, at least this should be the last episode yes and i just realized i actually failed to uh to screen share god damn it so i'm gonna have to uh, quickly turn that on for you too so you can actually what's going on right now we're just scrolling through these uh these vents as things go very wrong for our, our poor protagonist and i'm afraid that now that you're screen sharing it's gonna break it didn't in the other tests if i recall yeah the, so far the tests have been, it, it's always been I, I'm so angry I can't even begin to speak. Okay, I just don't even want to talk about it. Just let me know when you guys can see it. Alrighty, I can see it. I can see it as well. Okay, Bean, you are, uh, you're up. <coughs> oh, wait, sorry, no, never mind. I, I, this is me, this is me, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been an entire month since we've recorded. It's been more than a month since we recorded the last episode. I apologize. Uh, <clears throat> hey, I uh, made it through the vent shaft. Wow! That's pretty exceptional. Well, gosh, thank you. I was a little, cre it was a little creepy, and in retrospect, fairly dangerous. Or shall I say, it was uh, more dangerous than I expected. Well, uh, I would rather you didn't, honestly. Oh, oh sorry. No, it's okay. But typing quirks are sort of. I've noticed you don't really have one, but, uh, they're kind of a thing that's exclusive to you, you know? Or, I mean, it's okay if they're used occasionally by someone you're close to. No offense, but I don't know you that well yet. Ah, I see. Well, I'm sorry, I... I'll know better from now on. No, I'm probably being weird about it. I'm sorry. You had no way of knowing. Zephyrus, it's okay to tell people when they do something that bothers you. Better to express how you feel than sit on in it forever while the other person has no idea. What kind of foundation for a friendship would that be? Oh. Yeah, you're right. By the way, how much rubble are you covered in exactly? I'm not really sure how I'm going to get out uh, of there. Yeah, there. Oh, that won't be too hard if you can find my hover pad. It's around there somewhere. I use it to move my lusses around. Tetrarch Damic borrowed it. <laughs> to move some guns, I think? Or maybe his drums. Oh. Bad timing. <laughs> well, I mean, that was a couple swoops ago. So I guess it's pretty much his now. You know what they say, your hive is my hive. <laughs> Actually, that's mostly what the Tetrarch says as he's taking my stuff. Okay, that's nice, but where is the hover pad exactly? Oh, right. Sorry. It's fine. You, I just don't want you to bleed to death or whatever while, uh, while typing. I think it's prob probably still in Tetrarch's loft above the respite block. Do you know where you are now? Not really, but... Um... Uh, oh, sorry, there's a, these are on the side. Uh, there's a ton of guns, Sigh. It's filthy in here. It's kind of dark and creepy. Uh, you know what? Joey it's doesn't like guns. guns, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a ton of guns, Sigh. I don't want to make you anxious, but that describes, uh, every block in the Tetrarch's Hive. Great. I'm, I'll message you when I've uh, made some more progress, I suppose. Okay, yeah. I think I'm about to pass out from blood loss, so I'm going to chill out for a little while. Hang in there, I'll find that hover pad soon. Just okay. casually admits to almost passing out. No big deal, guys. Wait, that's like you, right? 
Exactly. These movies kind of look like, well, not your things, really. No judge, not judgmental. Uh, no, uh, no, no judgment. You just don't want these posters. Don't want these posters at all. So, uh, you, you might recognize these, uh, these, these, these things as being a little bit similar to somebody much from the real world. That's crazy. I, I don't recognize them. Okay, wink. You I recognize one of those. <laughs> yeah, the beautiful deer cat looks like the deer cat, but um, are they common here or something? Okay. Um, Majestic, terrifying. Yeah, let's see here. Let's uh, let's lead through the store. Oh, there's the handle. It must be opened by some other way. Some other way. Other way. Is that an Hmm. action figure of himself? No dice. You guess it's out of power, maybe. It kind of looks like it. I I think the horns are different, though, so I'm guessing it's just a general alien abduction uh, figure. You pick up the, let's see, looks like this is a big book of beasts. You flip through, glimpsing tons of monsters at various levels of of, uh, wild, cute, scary, and spectacular. You can use this to learn more about the weird alien life on this weird alien planet. Neat. Let's let's learn about, about birds. You don't find anything about buyers in here, because he's just a little earth pigeon. Pidgey. Wouldn't it be awesome if they did have pigeons, though? That would be pretty cool. Though they'd probably be like, I don't know, squawk beast or something. Or I think that's already <laughs> something, but something else ridiculous. You pick a page at random and... No, they'd it. be coobies. Coobies, that's yeah. What that's they probably, would. Yeah. Or just sky rats. Uh, at, <gasps> at random and accidentally uh, spend a few minutes reading about muscle beast <laughs> pectoral uh, temp skin. Two... Two scene? What? Two <laughs> Maybe you should just use this as, uh, use this on Lucis's that you actually encounter. Also, hope that you never encountered that one. I yes, that sounds like a great plan. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't gonna go anywhere near Damick's uh, clogged toilet or whatever that is. Maybe it's the edge of uh, that egg he hashed out of. It's gross, is what it is. I think they said the, uh, let's see here, so. So we need to find, we need to find a thing. Let's see here. I think they said it was above his, uh, rest block? Let's look around. Dace is pretty paranoid. Even if you could crack this safe, he probably wouldn't be <laughs> safe to do so. Throw buyers at it. He can crack anything. Byers is entirely incapable of picking the lock on this weird-looking alien safe. You assume. Oh, Maybe you should be, uh, have more faith in this little guy. Exactly! Damn Skippy. Okay, let's see here. Pretty solid-looking door. Hopefully there's a way to open it. You're feeling a little boxed in. Box? Hmm, handprint is probably how the door opens. Or maybe it just means that the room on the other side is, uh, room four, or, or, uh room hand, or maybe that's the obvious uh, local sign for lethal monsters do not enter. Either way, this thing doesn't seem to be powered. Alright, so we need to we need to get some sort of alien battery. Maybe this could help. I'll tell you right now, I spent most of my time shoving that cube into the safe. <laughs> <laughs> and and I got stuck until I looked up a walkthrough and felt like an idiot. Fair enough. I mean, th- that will happen. Hey! Hi, Joey. How's it going? Not great. I accidentally put everything in lockdown. Or maybe it was in lockdown before and I somehow got past one door? That's probably it. The Tetrarch has extremely high security. What's the deal? Is he really paranoid, or is your planet really dangerous? It must be if everyone's house is full of guns. Actually, my hive is pretty different. It's a lot cleaner, for one thing. And it has a tree growing in it for my looses. And there's no guns. That sounds really nice. What does he even need so many guns for, anyway? Well... 
guess it's okay to tell you since you're another rust blood. But don't tell anyone else. It's a major secret. I don't know a single other person on your entire planet. Oh, right. Okay, but, um, yeah. So, we're rebelling. Hmm? It's okay. You can take a minute. I know it's a lot to process. Uh, rebelling against what? The man? No! The heiress is a girl. Oh, right. You're an alien. Okay. Uh, some context. The heiress is a murdering tyrant who holds our whole planet in her wicked finny fist. Finny? Yeah, she's a sea dweller and a fuchsia blood. One of only two. The other one... Well, she's really far away all the time, leading the conquest of other galaxies or whatever. Which is lucky for us because she's incredibly powerful. Not so lucky for the people in the other galaxies, though. Huh? Oh. Yeah, that's true. But anyways, the heiress is enough to deal with. The other high bloods follow her, and of course she has her drone army. Well, of course. Ain't that always just the way? Yeah. I was kidding, I don't know what high bloods or drone armies or anything are. I used to be all, hi, I'm new here and on your planet. Can you gradually bring me up to speed on literally everything? Watch in amazement as I stun you with my uh, penetrating cluelessness. Feast your eyes on my barely existent, uh, existent jokes. <laughs> barely existent jokes. Wow. You're pretty upbeat about all this. I think if I was suddenly shot across the galaxy or whatever, I'd be flipping out. Are you currently bleeding out under a ton of rocks? <laughs> I guess so. It's kind of annoying to have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, the drones are the things flying around outside. They'll take us into custody if they see us, assuming they don't kill us outright by firing missiles into our bodies until we're dead. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, a lot of this can wait until uh, we get you to safety. I'm gonna go find our ho your hover pad now. Talk to you soon. Come on. What a, a chipper conversation. What a chipper young lady. Okay, sorry, I decided to check because for some reason when uh, the screen share is on, I can't see Facebook, and it's impossible to know whether or not the game is still being recorded. And I think if, if something happened to this recording after everything else, I would probably just lose my mind and... and... Rage flip the table. Yeah, yeah. Please anyway. don't murder me. <laughs> hey computer, you you wonder if Damic ever makes his own mu uh, his own video games as a means of hashing out his problems, like Clarice does. Clarice is so cool. Clarissa. Clarissa, from Clarissa well, explains it all. Yes, you're right. Okay, wait, this from is who? Little, what? From who? From Clarissa explains it all. Oh yeah, you know it's been over from Clarissa. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Who locks the door to their kitchen? Is he worried someone's going to steal his... Uh, okay, there's... There's just... There's no way he eats bugs, right? <sighs> Demick has gone back and forth between the Grubbles and the Grebbles several times. The Grubbles seems to be the current favorite, though at, at least one... Uh, at least until he crosses it out and writes the other on uh, behind it. So that's a little joke about the fact that the uh, the name of the band was uh, like being misspelled uh, constantly by the uh, by the uh, the fans, and no one could figure out what the hell it was supposed to be written as. So little little joke jokes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, the feed on the top TV monitors uh, monitor looks like the room you were in a moment ago. This it's weird to see it from this perspective. Also, the room looks slightly different than you remembered. The left one seems to be an error message, but you don't recognize the other two at all. Wait, is that Zephyrus? And the bottom one? His big monster parent thing is helping him out. And, um, that's, uh, you're surprisingly creeped out. 
I like that it says it's odd to see it from this angle, but that was the angle we were seeing the whole room for, from. <laughs> uh, did you not look at this door before trying that? It is insanely dangerous out there. If you want to make a run for it across the street, you better be fast. Yeah, just run out there with the harpoons, why don't you? All right, let's let's just um, let's let's keep moving. I want to get the the thing done and and over with before I before I literally lose my mind with all the recording problems. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Who lost the door to their kitchen? Is he worried someone's going to steal his? Oh wait, no, wait, we already read all that stuff. Sorry. Um, okay, yeah, also, uh, I should point out, like, uh, it seems like the, the problems are mostly related to this one game, because when I was doing the, re the record test before starting, it was fine, and then as soon as it loads up, suddenly big old problems. Sigh. This hole is Sigh. what you, <laughs> uh, this hole is what you get when you, uh, build an elevator into your house, while at the same time not caring if people fall down holes. The platform is down in the basement. You can still hear the sound of that wild animal blow. Okay, so I think we need to use... Hang on. Oh. You won't get the information you need researching a model. You need to study the real thing. Okay, I thought I might oh. be able to... Dude, I thought, I was like, oh snap, he's gonna kill us. And then, oh, that's a little, little model thing. Yep, a little modely bodily. Yep. I... I am a biscuit -o. Oh, hey, the tablet's doing that thing again. A, a bloody old. Okay. That thing, that thing a thing. Okay, okay, I can do I this. I believe you. This fucking metal cover. It's pretty great. Oh, boy, okay. Oh, man, it's, it's, a, it's a co op now. game. Vomby's gonna have to take over as the other one. Oh, balls. Hey, uh, Xerox, you there? Can't really go anywhere else with the debris slowly crushing my body. Oof, right, sorry. It's okay. Uh, does it sound okay? I'll be there soon. Trying to move around. No, try, try to move around a lot. Try to. <laughs> Alright, you have to be good with that one. Uh, try and move around a lot. Really, get yourself nice and wounded. Wait. What? Uh, let's never mention this again. Please try and forget I said that. Okay. I'll try. She's way too nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, pass out a little now. Wait, real quick. I'm having trouble with this uh, security puzzle, you could call it. I saw the one in the basement, I swear, but this one seems kind of different. Security puzzle? Um, what in the... Oh, for... Okay, oh. sorry. <clears throat> Do you mean the serpent ROM that Tetrarch Damic rigged up to his power hexagrid? I wouldn't have used those words, but if you think that's what I'm talking about, it probably is. Gosh, don't you know these things? <laughs> scroll down a little bit more. I, I've scrolled down as far as it will go. There's oh. another one? A different one? I think so. The start screen is different anyway. And the power is still on, so I don't know what it would be connected to. His hive security, probably. He's always tinkering with it to make it more complex. Yeah, for the one uh, in the basement, I only had to eat the letters. But now they're different? The different letters to eat, but I don't know what letters to eat, if that makes sense. Oh, it it's probably... X, 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 X. Oh, really? <laughs> no, wait, sorry. I meant X, 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 X. X, 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 Yeah, I get it. I got it. No, that's not it. What? I'm typing it in, but it keeps changing into a bunch of X's. Maybe it's the new security software I installed. It must stop me from posting my password to the chat. Really? Let me try. Mr... Mr. Tail, uh... Miss Taylor Thomas? That's Mo, uh, Mo 80. Mr. <laughs> no, Mr. Stay, Staylor, Stay, Staylamos. Miss Taylor Thomas 80. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're both illiterate. Oh no. <laughs> Can you see that? Miss <laughs> Taylor Thomas 80? 
Fuck you, you already had everything. OMG! What's that? No! You told me it would turn into X symbols! Well, you're using the Tetrarch's tablet. It wouldn't know your password. I can't believe I did that. Sorry, I'm going home. I can never show my face on this planet again! <sighs> Miss Taylor Thomas 80 seems like a nice password. I'd never guess that. You must be really smart, Joey. No! Apparently I'm super stupid! What's so embarrassing about it? Everybody makes mistakes. It's just... Well, I guess it's the name of a boy I like. Really? <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but that's what my password is, too. Oh? Do you have a girl you like? Oh no, it's a boy. Oh! For some reason I thought you were a boy this whole time. I am. <laughs> oh. Oh! So, um, not to rush you or anything, but I'm still dying in rocks about the security console. Yeah, about that. Um, can you give me, like, a hint? It's the name of our band, but there's a couple different ways to spell it. That's pretty weird. Yeah, we kept going back and forth between the XXXXX and the XXXXX. I actually don't know which one it is right now. Well, uh, I'll scout around and see if I can't find something. He's bound to have written it down somewhere, or something, right? Uh, I hope so. I'm gonna conserve my strength a little bit, maybe. Getting kind of dead. Hang in there. Uh, I'll be there as soon as I can. No worries, I'm just dying. It's all good. Hey, well, I'm glad you have such a positive attitude about it, Dean. Yeah. All right, here we go. And so this is the uh, the name of the band. So I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that will uh, that will that will make it. I'm pretty sure that's the I password. I hope you committed it to memory. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that's an excellent question. All right, tell us do your thing again. Nope. Oh yes. Okay. All right. So it's. So. Wait. Shit. <laughs> Oh, I got it this time. Okay. Okay, so it's this one. Hell yeah, okay, I got this. Is it that, that pokey? No one ever has to mention about... Uh, we never have to talk about the, the times I didn't have this ever again because I now totally have this. <laughs> Do you know how long it took me to realize that that piece of paper in the corner was it? I, I would not be surprised if it took a while, it's, um... Oh, it took so long! Okay, so now I just need to... Oh, wait, okay, so I kept one on, thing. like, guess and checking. I was like, okay, let's see if this one will work. And then if it didn't, like, I memorized what which ones worked up until whatever I used next. And so it was basically this whole guess and check memorization thing that I did, and it was... Oh. Wait, there's actually a slip of paper that actually has there's a thing a on the game? Of paper, yeah. Oh my gosh, I wrote it down myself. Because I thought I had to. <laughs> God dang it. Well, well you're the only one who's, who's suddenly found themselves in a tricky situation. Upska. Through dance. Damn, dance, dance god. Well, yeah. I figured out the game, but the monster chased me into, uh... I'm fairly confident this is a kitchen. It's really gross, but anyway, keeping you informed. Monster? Wait, sorry. I'm a little woozy. Uh, the deer cat. Oh yeah! Now I remember the Tetrarch's looses. Okay, sure. Hey, while we have a second, maybe you can fill me in on what that means? What what means? What's a looses? Wow. What? That's just about the saddest thing I've ever heard get said. Yeah, culture differences, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Can we bring me up to the speed on the the white as well? Be stalking me. Why does Damik even have a crazy cat monster in his house? Well, it's not 
really... It's not usually crazy. Your Lucis takes care of you. Protects you from the wild monsters and also dying from, like, whatever, you know? I guess mine's not too good at that, since I'm still being crushed by heavy debris. I... not really. Are they, um... beasts? Well, yeah. What else would they be? And they're always this rambunctious? I mean, it seems like it'd be pretty crazy if everyone in your family had their own uh, rip-snorting monster. What's a family? Uh, it's some adults and their kids, or one adult and some kids, or kids and their babysitter, and they're con uh, conspicuously absent, uh, uh, absent of a father who isn't garbage. Adults? Yeah, why? Adults live on your planet? Yeah, of course. Is that not where they live? For you? For adults? For your adults? Sorry, this is somehow the weirdest thing you've said yet. Once you come of age, you get sent off planet for your ordeals. And that's it? Nobody ever comes back? Ever? No exceptions. There's... There are no adults on Alternia. Hmm. I think this might be another, wow, I'm an alien, conversation better safe for when you're not pinned under a bunch of, a bunch of rocks. Probably. I'm going to have to rest in a sec. Okay, well, I'm going to go, I'm going to focus on finding the hover pad. I'll let you know when, when I, I do. do. Thanks, Joey. I'm going to focus on maintaining consciousness, I think. Good plan. Stay, um, stay alive. Um, get power. Oh, jeez, that was awful. Sorry, bye. Get power. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so, look at this. This is probably a fridge, right? You get the sense that this is a fridge, given its uh, fridge shape and its placement in what is obviously the kitchen. Gross, huh? You wonder if everyone on this planet eats nothing but bugs, or maybe it's just Gamic? That would be worse somehow. Did he just hurl a handful of eggs into the fridge and leave it like that? Why, you swear! Boy, you swear. Are those teeth? You remind yourself not to have any birthdays here. This pizza must have committed all sorts of pizza sins, seeing as the tastes and sensibilities of the human race were not considered during its creation. Perhaps completely unworthy of the name pizza. But it's got the pizza box. It's true. The Crux. Wow, that's really, really stupid. That's a really, really stupid name for a canned beverage. Hey, Joey, you're pretty judgmental of their food. She is, she is at that. Hey, look at this. We got it. A hover pad. This really is the future. By which you mean this is an alien planet or something. Wait, <laughs> is this the future? Zephyr says this is his, but it looks like Damix. Huh. He's, uh, he uh, has other... <clears throat> looks like Damix, uh, has other ideas. Oh well, Damix isn't here. Now, uh, you can help Zephyrus with it, and help, uh, Zephyrus by returning it. I found the hover pad! Hover slide. Whatever it's called, I got it, and I can come save you. Excellent! Although, I think I'm a little boxed in. Between the deer cat and a pile of guns and drums, I don't really have a clear path. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Well, the Tetrarch made some pretty... Ex extensive. Extensive modifications to my hover pad. That might be able to help? Yeah, huh. Uh, this guy doesn't sound like he's a good, uh, he has a good sense of respect for the, for boundaries or personal property. Oh, he hates it. Tetrarch Damic says the concept of private property is a vehicle of, of, for exploitation and a tool by which the high blood subjugate the lower blood underclass. Huh. Well, I'm new here and I can't really comment, I guess. Anyway, I'll be back in your hand, it'll be back in your hand soon, so problem solved. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Talk to you soon. Uh, achievement right, get find Hoverslide. Damick sounds like a first year philosophy student. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. 
Uh, it's just so. Uh, Alright, let's see here, so. Let's try moving this up. You just plunge your hands into the pile of death, huh? You think you'll look around a bit for a bit, something, uh, for something here to assist you? Hold on, there's something around here. Let's see if I can't find it real quick. It might, I'm gonna have to move the things first. We'll see. I'll, if I can't find it, I'll let you know exactly what it was. Was probably safe. <laughs> a bunch of uh, crashes and smashes uh, and zaps. This is fine. This is fine. If the Tetrarch's Luces is upset, it might have gotten hurt. Got? Oh, gotten. That's that's cute. Anyway, I did see a whole lot of blood uh, smeared off the. Uh, to the huge hole in the floor. Oh no. Well, it was brown, so it's probably old. I'm not sure what you mean. The Tetrarch is a bronze blood, so that's either Damic or his Luces, and it's recent. Wait. Okay, you've been saying things about blood color a lot, but I've been assuming it was metaphorical. Are you saying members of your species literally have different blood colors? Yeah, I'm a rust blood. Bronze, rust, okay. It's a metal thing. No, it's by color. I'm actually a burgundy blood, but... But maybe this isn't the best time to talk about all this. Yeah, I'll be glad to tell you all about the blood on our planet when I'm not leaking so much of it on the ground. <laughs> well... I really thought I'd be dead by now. Don't worry, I'm coming as soon as I figure out the way past this wild beast. Maybe I can outrun him, maybe I can sneak past him, maybe I can give him a treat. This is Joey. Joey's all about them treats. I can give him a treat. I do have some pet treats. What's a pet? Um, I think it would be a little weird if I described it to you, given the fact that you were, it sounds like, raised by one. Uh... Let's move on. Maybe I can outrun him. Maybe I can sneak past him. Well, let's try sneaking. You can totally sneak past him. Yeah, maybe I can sneak past him. Pretty unlikely. Wait, are you the kind of alien that's invisible and silent? No. Yeah, no chance then. Well, maybe I can outrun him. I'm surprised he's been chasing you. That's really not like him. Well, now that you mention it, he didn't exactly chase me. I think this might all be a misunderstanding. He's probably upset with Damak missing and everything that's happened before you got here. I mean, they can be kind of frustrating. Looses, I mean. They mean well, and they try to take care of you, but they don't always know what they're doing. And it's not always easy to understand them, you know. Yeah, I have someone like that. Oh? Yeah, my babysitter. You'd love her. Her name has an X in it. <laughs> <gasps> well, okay. If we if uh, we have to an upset beast on our hands, there's really only one thing to do. Yeah? Joey Claire... Amateur veterinarian is going pro. <gasps> BRB. I um, gasp. <clears throat> okay, so I can't, I don't know exactly where it is. So basically, it's somewhere hidden in here, in addition to like this. Uh, oh, there it is. In addition to this, uh, this Green Day reference, there is this poster here. And uh, I forget exactly who's who, but uh, these are. Uh, uh, Jane, well, this one's definitely James Roach. Uh, the far left one. <laughs> the far left one is Toby Fox. Toby then Fox it's James Roach. Roach and... Then it's redacted, and then it's uh, and and then it's another. Andrew, uh, yeah. Yeah, Andrew Hussey. So Andrew Hussey is the creator of Homestuck. James Roach is the basically the guy who did like these. Uh, both Andrew, uh, uh, both uh, James Roach and Toby Fox did all the music for. Uh, Hive Swap and Friend Sim, mostly James Roach uh, and Toby Fox, in addition to doing a bunch of music for the game, is also 
somewhat famous on the internet for creating a, a game called Undertale and Delta, and another one called Deltarune. You probably haven't heard you of him. You probably haven't heard of him, but he's uh, he, th- these three are very good friends uh, real in real life. have worked together for years and years and years and are now slowly becoming, you know, kind of sort of internet famous, I guess, maybe. Anyway, that's cute. It's a cute little nod. And the, the fourth person was someone who was involved in the game production, but there was a huge drama, and they're no longer really on speaking terms, hence their part of the budget being ripped up. Please oh, hire us one of the other three. They, they apparently ran off with a lot of money that was intended for the game, so, yeah. But I don't know. I, I don't know exactly the whole story, and I'm probably liable to say anything more than that. Uh, just think of all the possibilities for alien animal care held in this little kid. You kind of regret not taking the one from your bedroom, but this more than makes up for that, abs- in, uh, that absurd uh, blunder. Descent. Gosh, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your med kit. Oh, this is fine. Back in the gun room. Yeah, just a typical air vent. Previously repo- uh, reposed as a human vent, but mostly deals <laughs> in air. Okay. It's gonna write that on its resume. Brief stint as a human vent. <laughs> It opened. The door opened. You can now proceed in, uh, and ingeniously hope that your plan, your path, never gets blocked by a door again. Dun oh. dun dun! <laughs> oh my god, she's so cute. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> that rampaging deer cat out there is still pretty fierce. Uh, you gotta find some way to distract it so you can approach from the other side. Uh. Okay. Distraction! Throw buyers. Oh no. Buyers. No, no. Buyers is too precious. Buyers is far too too pure for, for, for such a. Such you a have to click on the door itself. Uh, well, it's here. I, I, lo- I, I clicked on the door itself and that, that triggered the cutscene. I think I need to actually cause a distraction first, I guess? This is pretty bar- okay, man. Um, where'd the stairs go? Where'd the, yeah, where'd the butts of the stairs? How did I get here? Who am I? Where am I? Oh, it's in the very back right. Oh, so it is. S ascend. <laughs> Starts having an existential crisis when you can't <laughs> find the stairs. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> You don't want to think with the terrifying deer cat while he's still so terrifying. Maybe you could come in doubt somehow? Uh, or, at the very least, distract him? Let's see here. Okay, we probably need to get some... It's really gross. Maybe you could clean it? Yeah, you definitely traveled to a strange alien world to deep clean this guy's kitchen. That's how you live your life, for sure. Yeah, let's see if there's something in here that... You know, could be anything in there. You're not about to open uh, Pandora's doggy bag to find out. You take the loosest milk. Maybe this will calm the beast. Okay, so now I just need to use this delicious glass of... Wait, just dump it out? The, uh, the quiet dignity of the fearsome beast would never permit it to drink milk directly from a filthy floor. Okay, so... Gosh... Then... Even oh. mooses have pride. Yeah. The dishes are too filthy to use, and you're definitely not cleaning them. You're not Danix maid. Oh, no dishes. Okay, maybe I could just pour it into this bowl. Do you remember the famous parable? Thou shalt not put a clean alien monster milk in the, to the dairy into the dirty animal food container for ver- uh, for verily thou hast struck the dorm the dormitory between the eyes. Okay. Those are some dishes. They are dirty and they are 100% not your problem. Okay, well, Joey, you come on, work with me here. Okay, um. I need something to pour it into. Imagine being a rich kid. Imagine being a rich kid on an alien planet and your life depended on cleaning a dish, (laughs) but you just insisted that you couldn't. Yeah. Hmm, you think maybe the milk is on its own might be enough? You don't want to gild the monster uh, lactated uh, lily here. Okay. Uh, cabinet? Cabinet. Cabinet. There's like, there's like one by the door. I just pointed oh. to where it was on my screen. The game is really empty. Kind of running theme today. Also for the most of your life. Wait. Being you genius. Oh. There's a bowl in the back. A clean bowl. Maybe Danik missed it too. 
that would explain why it's actually clean. I actually legitimately forgot that the milk, the bowl was in there. Well, you done did a good one. Intense <laughs> oh concentration. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. it's so cute! Now, S ascend. Walk over across the floor. Casually pass the... S descend. Uh, and the guns to your left. Alright, and then we go in... In this way. Walk past the blood. And now we can... Oh, you know, actually, what we can do real quick... Is this. You flip through the pages. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Its scientific name is apparently the Cusipid Grimtalk. Ahem. The Cusipid Grimtalk is a chimerical union of predator and prey, with the strengths of both long retractable claws and razor sharp teeth alongside a defensive crown of stabbing horns. The speed for, uh, for light. The speed for lightning quick dashes and the uh, endurance to run entire nights without tiring. Proud and resplendent, Cusabin Grimtalk, uh, Grim Grimblekin, preferred to bond with bl bronze blooded wrigglers in whom they sense a strong natural aptitude for leadership. Such aspirations and low bloods are grounds for culling, of course, and the primary cause of death uh, for Cruspid. Grimblekin is the defense of their treacherous wards. <clears throat> Anecdotal? An Anecdotal accounts suggest that those did Grimblekin <laughs> who manage to survive the death of their wards will typically seek out a similarly orphaned troll and attempt to bond with them, although the selection process is, naturally, rather mysterious due to its staggering illegality. Several uh, atomic Economical diagrams are included from these. You think you'll be able to uh, treat the deer cat, which is what you were going to uh, continue calling it from now on. Cuspled kibble is a bit of a mouthful. You know how everyone always makes a joke with Benedict Cumberbatch about how they spell his name like increasingly bizarre, and yet everyone still understands what they're saying. Yeah. That's like the same thing with this <laughs> cusipated grimblekin or whatever. Oh my god, it's so adorable. <laughs> Take a little thorn out of the lion's paw. It's okay, adorable. Oh wow, what a cutie! But what's his name? You could ask Zephros, but uh, you guess, but you feel like there's something between the two of you now. Something that merits a new one. Corny Buster. I love it. Sure. Alright, Corny Buster, let's go. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. Right. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm suddenly pretty nervous about how I'm going to get over there. I keep seeing shadows of huge hulking things flying around outside. Yeah, the crossing won't be easy. Ah. Yeah, there you go. I'm sorry. It always it's always this hard to get across the street. No. I mean, not usually. Things got pretty intense. How do you mean? Somebody we were supposed to be meeting up with didn't show. Or maybe they did, and it went bad. I really don't know. Damic didn't tell me what was happening. And I screwed everything up. I know it. You should stay there. I don't want you to risk getting hurt because of me. You were going to risk it for me. I figured something out. I'll be fine. Up here. Uh, and you're gonna risk it for me. You're gonna risk it for me. Yeah, that's true, I guess. No guesses ne go ne bleh. No guessing necessary. I didn't realize then how brave you were being. Thank you, it means, ah, it means a lot. Uh. No buts, except yours, which I'm saving. Are you sure? Extremely. Oh! <laughs> we'll be there in a flash. <gasps> Excellent. Wait, we? Da, 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 da. Here we go. Flashlight ready. Oh, it looks so nervous. 
but I got my I, flashlight. Honestly, I thought that it was going to be a scene of the deer cat chasing the light beam, like it was a laser beam. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of what was kind of going on, but okay. Hey, we're here. Oh, jeez, is that you under the rubble? I mean, I assume it is. I hope so. Not that I want you to be get, uh, getting crushed under rubble. I hope it didn't a- happen enough that I'd mistake you for someone else being crushed under rubble. Oh, no, it's me. I was lucky. Lucky? Left for dead, covered up, but not hurt bad enough to actually die. The ones who get cold on sight. Or snatched up to be cold later, probably in some sick high blood spectacle. They weren't as lucky as me. This is what you're rebelling against? These drone things? No. I mean, not really. The heiress is in charge, and the drones obey her. It's her birthright. So why is she doing this? I have no idea. Low bloods get cold for anything and everything, or no reason at all. She doesn't have to have one. Or maybe our sub grub being on fire makes a really sick selfie background. Are you serious? She sounds terrible. Yeah, no kidding. It's like the Tetrarch says, the slow, the soft, the unlucky, the troublemakers. Anyone who doesn't jump when the heiress snaps her webby little fingers, they get rounded up and slaved or slaughtered. Especially Rustbloods. Like me. This is terrible! Your neighborhood is on fire! You're buried in rubble! Like you said, this is why we're rebelling. This is so awful! Why hasn't any, someone already put a stop to this? My subgrub is full of low bloods. We don't matter. Oh, so nobody who does matter cares. All this is is taking out the garbage. It's always been that way. Nobody does anything about it. Especially not gutter bloods. Like me, we're mostly good at lying down to die. Oh, you're rebelling, right? So, you are doing something. Oh, that's not me, that's the Tetrarch. Tetrarch Damic is different. He's amazing. I wish you could meet him. He always does things. Like, he's in the in a movie, and movie where he's the star. You know? Um. He put the whole thing together. The rebel network, the plan, all of it. But without him, we don't have a chance. He was the one everyone talked to, and now he's gone. He's gone, and I'm alone. And I'm slow, and soft, and stupid. I'm just a nothing little gutter blood nobody. No! What? This Danik guy, he sounds like he stinks. What? Okay, I'm sorry, but you talk about him constantly, and not a single word you've said about uh, uh, doesn't make him sound like an awful bully. No! Not like that at all. He's just looking out for me. Ah, open your eyes! Why do you think you're really saying these terrible things? It's not like I don't know where you're coming from. Sometimes my pawn makes me feel just rotten, and I think I... Uh, and I think, and, and I think, am I the reason he's never around? That's wrong. What's wrong with me that makes my own father not want to see me? That's a load of garbage. Uh, the only person responsible for the terrible things he does is him. You don't understand. Me and the Tetrarch have been together since we were grubs. We were fated to be Moirals. Mo- Moirals. Ah, you wouldn't get it because you're an alien. I need him. No, you don't. I may not know anything about the social customs of this crazy alien planet, but I know that a real friend would never stand by and let you think and say those things about yourself. I don't think you're nothing. In fact, I know you're not nothing. You got plenty of your own bravery. Just because fighting back was his idea doesn't mean it didn't take courage to see it through. And you were going to risk everything to save me, an alien you never even met. That's the bravest thing I've ever heard get t- get tried. Do you really think so? Yeah! I believe in you, Zephyrus. Wow. You remembered my name this time. Yes! 
That's because you me you made such a big impression on me, and we're such good friends. And I'd be really sad if you gave up and died under here under these rocks. Oh man, that actually means a lot to me. I never even dreamed that something like this could happen for someone like me. Zephyros, I'm going to do my absolute best to raise your standard of friendship to the point where having your name remembered is not the nicest thing anyone has ever done for you. I'm not alone after all. I've got Joey Alien here to save me. And tell me what to do! Well, <laughs> no, no, we're in this together. Oh, yeah. Right! Thanks, Joey. Now, let's get you out of there and then figure out what's next. Are you sure you don't know anyone who can help us? I kind of don't know, even know what kind of help we, uh, we need, but it seems we do. Well, I do know someone, but they don't exactly live nearby. It'll be a journey. Are you sure they'll help us? Oh yeah, she hates the Eris. And she's our biggest fan. That's good enough for me. Now hold still, I'm gonna get you out of here. You've got no chance of moving all these with just your bare hands. It's time to bust out the hover pad. Or maybe it was the hover sled you can't quite remember. You're not entirely sure, but it sounds cool. <laughs> it's Bean! <gasps> He's adorable! <laughs> Aww. Look at these adorable babies. They, they are just little babies. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Look at them. Now go. I can die happy Bring now. the be the legend back to life. Running, we're running. It's a very pretty planet. Yeah. They've got that. That's a little for fun them. picture. <laughs> How to selfie? And why did she do all of this? Wait, isn't it obvious? <laughs> A pretty impressive fire. <laughs> <laughs> Good background for selfie. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so awful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, and that was High Swap Act 1. Presented by Andrew Hussey. We'll see you in 15 years when the second one comes out. Kansas City Show. Thank you, everyone from What Pumpkin, uh, for uh, for making this wonderful game that we completed over the course of, of a couple of months. Uh, thank you, Hussey and Cohen Enfield. Edenfield. Edenfield. Go to Edenfield. You did. A ridiculous amount of work on this game. I think. Oh, gosh, uh, yes. I think uh, they mentioned that they had uh, written like several novels worth of like uh, flavor text. So yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a bit of a worker. Go in the extra mile. Yeah, and, uh, Angela Shum, your uh, your animation is awesome. Oh, for sure. Or, and, and, and Adrian Adriana Garcia. Garcia, you you too. Adriana. Adrienne yeah, she is. My gosh, am I the I most can't. literate? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's. This is bad. Hey, James, I, James Roach, your up. music is good, boy. I yeah, James Roach. Um, name a uh, name a song after after us. <laughs> <laughs> make it the worst song you've ever made. Ma make the titled, worst song you've ever done in, in honor of us. The weirdos. Yeah, and it's just it's just three notes in re repetition forever, and it's like an hour long, and, and it's and it's just called "Let's Roll." Uh, let's. Let, fuck, I give up. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, I wanted to make something clever, but who cares? 
Thanks just the title of our video. <laughs> Music by James Roach and Toby Fox. Initial sad face by Marcy Nambor. Nambors. Nambors. About that thing, you know it is. Oh, look at these, uh, look at these, look at these cool babies. And, oh, a special thanks to every single Homestuck fan, all of our Kickstarter backers, and uh, we love Find, Viz Media, Don DeBosco, <laughs> and Shay. You have to read it all. I'll, I'll, I'll all these people. You getting one thousand dollars done? Yeah, if you read them all feet. as they're being scrolled, then you get a prize. And you can you unlock a secret ending. Uh, no, it was made by Unity, whatever, is the game sucks now. Yeah, automatically. I'm next suck, but never mind. Sorry for wasting your time with this crappy game that was made in Unity. Sorry, everybody. See you when we do, uh, Friend Sim. D join us next time for Friend Sim, as we continue the adventures on Alternia with entirely new characters. Till then, bye.